Hi everyone, my name is Love and today I'm gonna be taking my Selban CBT tests which are the listening, the reading, and the writing section. So right now it's 7 a.m. in the morning. So my test is at 8 in the morning. So there's a sample demo on the Selban website. So I suggest that you practice doing that demo that test demo at least twice like before starting um, studying for the Selban test and then on the day of the Selban test or a day prior to sel your Selban test just to familiarize on how to answer questions uh, using this online tool that they have they now offer uh, Selban test online so I just did it so right now I'm just gonna clean up my desk here I'm gonna check uh, my surroundings I'll update you after my test so this test is going to take about two and a half hours uh, you cannot eat or drink during your exam last night I already read the guide and like the things that you need to do and the things that you can do during the test so make sure that you read those um information so yeah see you later guys a few moments later so just an update so my exam got rescheduled so i'm just waiting for their email or a phone call to reschedule my exam appointment for free of charge because it's a uh, technical issues so i tried calling the the proprietor proprietor's number to fix uh, to do some troubleshooting but unfortunately we cannot fix it like using my map and there's no other way that i can find a laptop at this time because it's early saturday morning and everyone is still asleep except me so to make the story short um try not to use a macbook laptop because it's kind of complicated to download all this application so i've been like waiting for 30 minutes to get into that exam and then it's just saying that, that um it's just saying please wait until something like that like the device and something and then it's already 8 a.m and i am still not in the exam so that is why i called their um technical support and we did a lot of troubleshooting and it's really not working so like when they said that we can just reschedule your exam i said like let's just do it because i'm not in the mood not to take the exam because of all these technical issues so yeah so that is my experience doing the <laughs> online test and i hope i'm waiting for them to contact me for rescheduling my exam and yeah so i just finished my CBT exam the listening the writing and the reading exam and today is December 27th and was supposed to be my exam was December 11 but due to some technical difficulties with my laptop so I have to use my old laptop which is a Windows laptop so I waited like uh, a week till they um, called me again to make another appointment for my exam to reschedule my exam so my appointment today was 9 30 in the morning and i logged in 9 a.m just to make uh, 30 minutes ahead of my schedule it took me two hours to finish the exam what are the suggestions or what are the tips that i can give to you when you are about to take your cbt exam using the proctor if you opted to do the exam online so i would suggest that if you have a windows laptop that use that laptop instead of the macbook pro or maybe it's just my situation but i felt that it's more easier to download the 
the applic their application on a Windows laptop. I never really had any problem even though that my laptop is a seven year old laptop it still worked like the system so you're gonna do all the system check and then download the proctor application and then once you get inside the application you're gonna be asked to take a photo of your face your um photo so i would suggest that no eyeglasses no accessories no earrings and then after that they will ask for picture of your identification so as usual i used my passport so i use my passport as my identification and then after that you will talk to a representative and then you will do all this uh, security check or all this all the check that they need to do so like first the um, the environment every other electronics must be away from you so no phones no ipods and then you're gonna show your surroundings so i would suggest that to declutter all your um, space like no other electronics visible because they they, they saw this one and this is a diffuser so they asked like what is that so i showed everything and then also unplug the television so it was turned off you have to show them that you turned it off and then like the printers unplug all you have in your space must be the laptop and the headphone so this is the headphone that i used for today's exam so this is just a noise cancelling exam and then i have here my laptop so this is my laptop so this is what i used during the exam and it's plugged in my headphone plugged in the internet and plugged into the power source so that you will never encounter any problems and then you're gonna move your laptop 360 your surroundings they will check the four corners of your room and the floors too even underneath my table they will check inspect everything like even the floor so yeah so just make sure that your exam surrounding is decluttered of any Thing. you shouldn't have any notebooks or any books near your place after they did the security check you're gonna start with the examination so I think the security check most uh, roughly took 15 to 30 minutes so you have to enter the test 30 minutes ahead of your scheduled time and then you're gonna start the test and then there is like um, a tutorial first and then after the tutorial will you will start your exam so I started with the listening section and then after that the reading section and lastly the writing section so it took me two hours in total and during the exam they will notify you like on the screen um it will notify you if you all if you only have 30 minutes left or 15 minutes left or five minutes left and five minutes left on your exams and then after the whole exam after you finish the three section you're gonna have the survey and then you're gonna answer the survey and then you are done with the exam it's a very self-explanatory there's no any technical thing on the exam so anyone can understand it right away so that is all for my experience of taking the online cbt test good luck thank you for watching my videos and i hope that you pass your solvent test too take care and bye